Okay guys, uh, this video is going to be a follow up to the previous one, um, except we're going to be using the RS-232 modules instead of the RS-485. Uh, the modules are set up um, um, almost identically in the programming. On, in this particular case, I'm going to show you how I'm using it. I have a, I have a, a Garmin GPS over here with uh, serial data output, and I'm using a, a null modem adapter to feed into the RS-232 box and what it's doing is it's taking the data uh, turning it into packets, sending it through the network and then turning it back to RS-232 at the end here where it's going into my laptop and um, I'll show you how right now it's uh, I'm having it feed the, uh, the GPS data uh, coming through and you see it works uh, it works good and uh, let me show you the setup here. Like I said, they're almost identical uh, to the previous one. Uh, same uh, philosophy, one's going to be the server, the TCP server, and the other one's going to be the uh, TCP client. And um, you just put in the, uh, the address of the uh, server on the client and the port number that you're using on the server. And um, same as the last one, uh, obviously, you got to set your your baud rate uh, and all that good stuff. But I keep uh, no turn all these options off and keep the clients and server connections to just one. That way, uh, there is no way it can uh, go wrong. Um, same on the uh, server here as well. Um, just the one connection and no other uh, no other functions. Um, uh, if you're not sure how to do uh, change the static IP addresses on these, uh, uh, look at the previous video. I'll go through that and show you how to set that up out of the box. But um, okay, uh, this will do it. This is uh, once again the the RS-232 version of the um, same uh, same bridge that we're doing on the network here and um, it works well. Okay, um, hope this helps and we'll talk to you soon.